Hi everyone, my name is Gary Whiting and this is Sandy Collier. What uh, we're going to be doing today is we're going to show you what it takes to actually become a world class athlete. And we're in Reno, Nevada right now at the Snafflebit Fraternity. This young lady I'm working on is uh, not your average cowgirl. This is Sandy Collier. She's a the only woman to have won this incredible sport uh, in the history of it. How long has it been going, Sandy? I don't know, 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. And you're, what, the top eight money earners in the history yeah. of the sport? Top 10. Top 10. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty impressive. And Sandy is a, um, a well-respected lady in this sport. I kind of developed this technique out of boredom, as one who does, ooh, good stretch, as one who does shiatsu massage, um, I got tired of doing the same thing, and I decided, uh, what if we uh, put a little stretch along with this releasing of the points, and initially my client said, that hurts, I don't like that, so I stopped doing it. Well, about two months later, one by one, they all came back, and they go, we hate to tell you this, but we felt so much better when you were torturing us. <laughs> so they gave me permission to go back to doing this technique. And, uh, and I've been doing it for quite a number of years now. I do this, a similar technique with the horses. Uh, what this little video is going to be about is we're going to be doing Sandy and I'll be doing, uh, showing you what I do on one of her horses. And, um, and this work, is what keeps you as a top competitor and or winner. The Greeks had a saying, the athlete that does not use massage is a common man. They didn't rate the common man by his status in the community, but by his uh, utilization of, of body work. And before I got involved with horses, I worked with people. I started doing massage in 1981 and went with world-class athletes in 1985. Uh, the U.S. Olympic high jump team, track and field athletes, uh, the trainer of Bob Wheeland. You may remember this guy, the double amputee that walked across America on his arms. Uh, when, I wa when I traveled with Bob through the L.A. and the New York City marathons, I went with him first in New York a year after he had already done the marathons. And by continually working on him, walking with him, he had stopped. He said, okay, get my shoulder, get my hand, get my arm. Um, I lowered 17 hours off of his previous year's time. We went to L.A. and lowered 18 hours off of his previous year's time. And that was one of the best tests that I could have ever come up with as the value of massage on a regular basis, both for you and your, your, your horse. So this is the technique I would use. So what you're seeing is what Gary Whiting does normally with each of his clients. Okay, I'm working acupressure points on the head. This is great for headaches. Okay, and then I like to go to the occipital area. Yeah, I know you can't see this, but I like to go in right underneath the, the um, the bone, and I just put direct pressure on there, I do a little rotating, and this really finishes off the neck release. Okay, so when we get done here, Sandy's going to have a good range of motion, and she won't have to worry about <coughs> sending a false message to her horse because she had to turn her whole body. Hi, back again. We're working on the other part of the team. First, we had, first we had Sandy being worked on, and now we've got uh, what is this? this? Is Dominique? Dominique, say hi. 
Uh, <clears throat> Dominique is uh, the second part of the team of Sandy Collier. Together, they go on to victory, they go on to winning. However, in order to win, you have to utilize both horse and human massage, along with horse and human nutrition. Um, you work as a team. <clears throat> so generally what I do when Sandy brings her horses in, uh, she brings trailers them in, they go through a lot of, of uh, stress on a trailer ride. If you want to uh, read an interesting article, it was one that Davis had done, and it went for the Equus magazine, it talked about trailering your horses and what all they went through. And by the time you get to a horse show, these horses are ready for some kind of a work. If they don't get work immediately, the chances of them breaking down within four days are, are very high. And so when Sandy brings her horses in, I go ahead and that night come in, they've been bedded down, they've had their feed. I come in, I start doing the massage on them. I don't probably massage all of her horses. Um, she has certain horses that are gonna be her winners, the ones that really are, are talented. And um, so by doing massage on a regular basis, you're going to keep these in horses injury free. And what I find the problems to be, like if we're just gonna do herd work, where you cut out your cows and you work your cow, I'm gonna find the front end is usually going to be the area in the neck area and in the shoulder and down in the pecs. And <clears throat> always around the atlas area, in the pole area, I can expect to find tension. Uh, when they start to do their uh, fence work, I'm going to find problems in the back end, front end, uh, up here in the pole, up here in the withers, and you can generally tell when a horse likes, when a muscle is tight, you're going to see some kind of a release. What I'm going to do on, on Dominique here, I'm going to hit a certain area where I know that she's going to be tight, and, and I'm going to, let's see, let's see what we can get up here around the ears. And sometimes there'll be an interesting reaction where they'll cock their head and they get, they'll get loving towards me. And uh, taking our work the ears. And some horses you can't get to their ears. They don't, they're head shy, but you can, you can work with them and get that to be part of the routine. Okay, another thing I like to do is work inside the ears. And just by bringing a horse's ear, pulling it from the base like this, that'll cause them to relax. It's the same way with a human. If you have a stiff neck, a lot of times you might see people doing like this on their ears. They're just naturally, without realizing it, going in and releasing. So there are, there are certain body parts, acupressure points. This is for tying up. The last part of the tail, you've got the, the very end of the tail The last vertebra of the tail, right in here, if you take, you have a horse that's colicking, if you take and just cramp down on that point and hold it, it'll help them get out over their colic situation. Obviously, this horse loves to be worked around the ears. The first time I worked on the horse, we didn't like it, but now we love it. Okay, so, and then in the shoulder, you're gonna find, like in the tricep area, and in the withers, you're going to find these areas, now when a horse backs away like this, they're saying that hurts a little bit. So I'm gonna just keep on working it. And pretty soon you're gonna start seeing it release and there, as you can see, we got a horse coming around looking at me. All right, one of the great things about working with horses, you guys, is unlike people, instant gratification. You don't know what the person's thinking but you know exactly what the horse is feeling and thinking. I'll be, the first time I worked on a horse, I didn't have a clue what I was going to see or expect. And uh, I'm working on this horse, this horse turned and loved me and nuzzled me and, and did this on my hand. And before I knew it, when that treatment was over, I felt so empowered because I had an animal that weighed 1,000 or 1,200 pounds that literally loved me and appreciate everything I was doing. So that was back in 1995 when I started messing around with horses I just took from human and translated it to the, to the equine world. And um, it's been a nonstop ever since. And hence, we ended up with Gary White's Equine Massage School for Horse and Rider. So the, anyway, I just wanted to show you what it's like to keep a, a champion like Sandy Collier going and to keep her champion horses going. It takes both human 
equine effort, it takes massage, nutrition on Sandy, it takes massage, nutrition on her horses. So, <laughs> what we say, we'll see you down the fence or somewhere down there, right? Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. No, we don't want to. We just want to love. Okay. Bye.